bad jobs are usually run at a scheduled time, for example, daily, weekly, monthly. But there could be scenarios where you may want to run it immediately, perhaps from a screen action or a piece of logic. For example, let's say a user uploads an Excel file that contains hundreds of records. In this scenario, you may want the users to be able to upload the file first, but asynchronously, you should also be wanting to run the processing of this file through a bad job. In this video, let's see how we can do this. So we are looking at my service studio where I have a reactive web application. To be able to create a bad job, you have to go to process tab and this is where in our systems we have a thing called timers which is same thing as a bad job. Previously I have already created a bad job that processes leaves in this scenario. I basically turn around a field that I have in my table called is process and I just say turn it to true or false depending on when the bad job is run and the current value. Now this bad job that you see here is also linked to a piece of action, the one that you see here and is running at a set schedule of uh, half past 12. How does it look from the admin side? Let's access the service center. I can see the module as well as I can see the schedule of when this job will run. The same thing that I was seeing earlier in my service studio. Uh, the next run is scheduled, scheduled to be uh, later tonight. Now in this case, what we'll do is uh, we will basically add some uh, buttons or an action on the screen itself from where we should be able to run it. But before I do that, let me just show you how the application looks. So uh, it's a very simple application for allowing users to submit their leaves. We have, we have the leave listing and the leave details. Now uh, this is the field that uh, the job processes. It turns everything to true if it was already false and vice versa. What we'll do is we'll build a action that triggers the job. So in this case, let me go back to my service studio. I can do it from the home screen, which is the listing screen. We can add a button, maybe somewhere here. We can call it process leads. And from the click of this button, let's say something like this, uh, we can call a server action. Let that be a new action. And within the action, if we go inside, this is where we have to switch to the process tab. And if we expand the workflow process, the, the bad job that we have created earlier on, we see that there's a piece of action that we can now drag and drop. Now, let me talk about a little about this wake process leaves. So basically in this case, whenever this wake process leaves is triggered, in your case, the name could be slightly different, but it would have wake against it. Now, what waking means in this case is uh, setting the next run time of the job to immediate the current time. So when this runs, the next run time of the job will become to now. Now thereafter, once we uh, run the job, we can also, I mean, schedule it to run. We can also display a message saying that job is scheduled to run now. And this could be an info. Okay. So with that, I think uh, that is how you are able to trigger a call to a job through the application. Uh, and this is a piece of action, the wake uh, uh, logic that you saw, it can be called from any piece of logic from server side. It can also be called from the APIs. So this application is being published right now. Let's go ahead and launch it. So look at this part here, it's process. It's right now set to false, so we don't see any values in here. And if you go back to our settings in here, you can also see that the next run time of the job is later tonight. Let me just refresh it in case there's anything that we have to check. Okay, so same as there. What we'll do now is click on this button. So once we do it, we see our message. Job is scheduled to run now. And if we go back to our page, we refresh it. Again, timers. You can see that the time are, is now set to run it immediately. So as of now, you can see on my server, this is the time, which is same as what we see here. We can also go ahead and check the timer log. So 829, you can see here, the job has just completed running. So now if we go back to the screen and give it a refresh, now the uh, falses in this process have been turned into true. Thanks for watching.